mindset. All right, so we're gonna have some fun day, fun session today with our conditioning, okay? It's gonna be our knee conditioning. The first thing we always wanna concentrate on when we're doing conditioning, when it comes to striking, or at least the, the Muay Thai kicks or knees or even punches, is we wanna make sure that our technique is correct. So we don't, we're not doing something that's training our technique to become dirty or become you know, messy. We have to still do it clean. So when you're tired, the most important thing is to focus on the mind to keep the technique correct. So this is a technical knee strike done with conditioning, okay? So I'm gonna show you the technical version of it and then we're gonna to get Tony to come in as a fighter to grind out the whole series of 30, 30, and 30, okay? So the first one is here. We're gonna hold the back here. We're gonna do a double pump with the left. So we go here, pump, pump, and then we hop on the other side, boom. And we throw the right knee out. So again, double pump, skip, boom and drive the right in. We're gonna do that for 10 sets. So that'll be 30 knees. Then we swap over here and we go double pump right. Boom. Okay, single the left, okay? Boom, boom up, boom. And then a big driving here. Again, 10 sets, another 30 knees. Then we're gonna finish off with 30 skip knees. So for coordination here, where we actually We can skip forward and back, left, right, left, right. We do another 30. Of course, we want to try and keep on the, hit the same target every time. That's the whole reason why that part of the bag is like that, because you're hitting the same target every single knee. So that'll be 30, 30, 30. So a total of 90 knees, okay? And we're, today we're just going to demonstrate it once, but I want you to do this for five rounds. This is our knee conditioning, technical, hard, for their stamina and perfect for Muay Thai. Tony, Tony, you're up. <laughs> Let's go, all right? Yeah. So, double, double on the left. Let's go. That's one set. Three. Four. That's a great lung burner. Now these, these kind of techniques are usually done, or this kind of like knee conditioning is usually done either at the end of a training session, okay? Or if you've, you know, or you've been doing like, uh, let's just say um, some strength and conditioning, you can also add that to your strength conditioning, but otherwise you can do it at the end of a pad session or a bag rounds that you've been doing in your Muay Thai class or your kickboxing class, or even just at home after you've finished off with your skill work you finish off with your, with your conditioning. Okay, so knee conditioning, but just remember to keep the skills clean, the knees accurate, the toes pointed, the knee pushing in, so that way you're hitting exactly with the right spot every time and not doing sloppy techniques. If you're training for too long and you're training sloppy, you're gonna program your body to have poor technique when it gets tired or even poor technique when it's fresh because the brain only knows one thing and we wanna cut that out. So enjoy that conditioning. 